How is it going guys? Bass and Mill 96 here and today I'm taking over the Mystery Tackle Box channel to teach you guys about fall smallmouth fishing. I am going to be breaking down river smallmouth versus lake smallmouth and showing you guys exactly how to catch these fall footballs. First things first, let's start out with river smallmouth. The two most important things about river smallmouth fishing in the fall are the current and the bait fish. Most of the smallmouth that I target here in West Michigan actually come from Lake Michigan and they migrate back into rivers and creek systems to follow the bait fish in the fall. So essentially the reason that the smallmouth are in the river in the first place is because they are following forage. And the primary forage in Western Michigan are gobies and alewife. And those species move into the river into the fall and the smallmouth follow them. So the first thing that you want to look for in a fall smallmouth spot is bait fish. We decided to try a local river on the west side of the state and we pulled up on this first bridge and there was bait fish absolutely everywhere. I decided to start off the day throwing one of my absolute favorite fall baits for smallmouth and that is the Alabama rig. Got one. On the rig. Nice, First fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go, baby. Little small jaw smoked the Alabama rig. Not a big one, but nice way to start off the morning. Probably like my fourth or fifth cast right there. A little, little nice small mouth. All we're doing is targeting these bridge pilings right here, and she absolutely crushed it. Little Alabama rig fish right there. So within about the first five minutes, we put the first smallmouth on the boat on the Alabama rig, and the thing about fall smallmouth is if you catch one, there's probably gonna be a lot more in the area. So I kept throwing the Alabama rig around the pilings, trying to see if there was a lot of them sitting right there, and the reason that we're targeting something like a bridge, the reason that that was one of the very first areas that we went and looked at is because it is a phenomenal current break. So essentially, we're set up behind the bridge, and the water from the river is flowing downstream, and we're sitting behind these pilings, and those smallmouth will set up behind the bridge pilings and on the side of those bridge pilings as an ambush point. And not only is it an ambush point, but they can also corral bait fish against the piling as well. So it is the perfect area to throw something like an Alabama rig. Uh, and like I said, there was a ton of forage in the area, so I figured that there was going to be a lot of smallmouth sitting around this bridge. Got one. Got one. That one's better. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's a small jaw. That's what we're after. A little chunk right there. That was on the day rig. Pretty much the exact next piling. We just got a nice like little stocky two and a half plus pounder maybe. She's she's fat. See you later, baby. Dude, there's all sorts of bait out here on this flat too. So we're sitting out in front of this bridge right here and you guys can see my graph sucks, but a lot of that is bait. Some of that's a lot of BS, but there's a lot of bait sitting out on this flat right here. So that is good. That's what we want to see. So as far as river fishing fall smallmouth goes, those are pretty much the two most crucial tips that I can give you guys is find bait fish and find some really, really good current breaks that those smallmouth can set up on. But like I said, my favorite bait to throw for fall smallmouth and rivers is an Alabama rig. It just perfectly mimics those big balls of bait fish that they're trying to chase after. But that's essentially it for river fishing. Now let's jump in do how to catch lake smallmouth because it's completely different than trying to fish rivers because there's no current whatsoever. So one thing that is similar about fall smallmouth fishing for inland lake smallmouth is they're also following the bait fish around the lake. So it is super crucial that you are around bait. You got one? Is it a small? Oh, it was a smallmouth. <laughs> it's like a two or three pound smallie. All right. Well, that was the first lake smallie, and uh, we've been here for what, maybe maybe ten minutes. I haven't skipped a little finesse jig up underneath this dock, but basically, there's a nice like little tapering point here. It drops off really deep, and it comes up on a sandy point with a lot of like little gravel on it. And I've just had a nice like two or two and a half pound smallie. Yeah, it was a, it was a solid one. It wasn't a giant, but it was it was a nice little smallie up underneath this dock right here. So first bite, first key to the puzzle. Uh, we're gonna figure out these lake smallmouth today. I just have a feeling. And uh, we're gonna try some new stuff here in a little bit if we don't get any more bites down this little stretch. But that was the first one. 
So the thing about fishing inland lakes for smallmouth in the fall is they can be super hard to find. And basically what we're doing is we're running from point to point to point, trying to find a big wad of smallmouth because the good thing about them is once you find them, they're all gonna be loaded up right in the same area. So after fishing about 10 different points with no fish, we finally roll up on this one point. It's a nice flat, it goes from about five feet of water, tapers down into about 20 feet, and we catch a few fish off that drop. Here we go. That's a smallmouth. That better be a smallmouth. Of this tapering point, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a smallie. That's what we're talking about. Now that's what we're after. Evan's trying to get me to go move to some point that we caught no fish off of. <laughs> but I'm telling him, I think we need to try out here. And look at that. A nice little long tapering point, and we caught ourselves with probably about a 14 inch. That'd be a turn turning keeper right there. This lake that we're fishing is not loaded with smallmouth, but you can target them. It's got just enough smallmouth in here where you can target them. And uh, we're out here on these points, and I'm throwing that net rig, and we're sitting in about 25 feet of water. And there you go, nice little fish. All right, there we go. We're gonna catch some more. Got one? Oh yeah, buddy. They're out here. <laughs> what you got there, son? Oh yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> It's a good one. Hey, it's a chance. Yeah, it's a decent little dude. Small. Yeah, baby. We're on them now. See, that's the thing about fall fishing for smallmouth, too. You have to move around so much. How many points did we fish today? At like least. 15 yeah. points, dude. We've hit like every point in the lake, and then the last one. That's another like 14 inch. I thought she was bigger when she jumped, but you gotta just move around until you find the fish because smallmouth stack up really heavy in the fall. So if you find one, there's probably more. Before I could even re-rig my bait, Evan had his, uh, and he's throwing a little finesse jig, but nice little smallie. And I think I keep seeing fish on the graph. So get that fish back and we're gonna catch some more. We haven't video game fish one yet, but maybe this is the drop. Ooh, there's another one too. We're going over the top of two of them. So I'll just have to keep dragging her. And there's another one down there now, too. Got him. Video game fished him. Yeah, but <laughs> it's a small, <laughs> it's a small mouth, dude. All right, so glad you guys are learning tips from me because I'm obviously the friggin' small mouth master. Honestly, there's probably like 10 small mouth in this whole lake, though, so I pretty much am for catching that one. It's crazy. This is another, this is kind of like the spot. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, I think. It is? Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Molly? I don't know, it's huge though, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, Evan, is it's it? freaking giant. Is it a carb? I don't know, it's huge. It's, I don't know. It's a bass, dude. It's not coming up. Oh my gosh, what do we, oh my gosh, Evan. It's coming up. Oh, it's a giant largemouth. Holy smokes, get him, Evan. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, man. Well, we're smallmouth fishing, and this is a smallmouth fishing video, guys. But every once in a while, you might catch a big old largemouth while you're fishing for smallmouth. It's just bound to happen. I literally hooked that one up a little bit shallower. We're fishing off this really deep point and it comes up on this flat and I literally cast it out there and told Evan, I was like, man, it's pretty, pretty shallow right here. And I lift it up and it just, it was like dead weight. That's like a four or five pounder, dude. All right guys, so like I said, this is a smallmouth fishing video. We're gonna get back to catching some smallmouth, but you can't not show off when you catch like a four pound largemouth. That is absolutely awesome. On that little Ned rig, like I said, just chucked it up a little bit shallower, but we're gonna get some more smallmouth here and I will tell you guys, a couple more tips and tricks along the way to catch some smallmouth and some largemouth. That's a freaking nice one. I was hoping it was gonna be a big old small drop, but that's nice. I'll take I'll take a four pound largemouth any day, dude. That's awesome. Are they tough? They're all living on that one point, huh? Where? Expansive point. <laughs> oh yep. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Exactly, boys. Be a smallie. Oh, I think it is. It's a smallie. <laughs> the it's a smallie. Oh, that's a good one, <laughs> it's a little chunk. <laughs> my bow flipping her? Yeah. I'll get her. Oh, <laughs> there we go, dude. Last minute smully. That's probably the biggest lake one so far. That's got to be uh, close to two pounder. That's a nice fish right there, huh? This is Evan's spot that I was giving him a bunch of crap for because we fished here earlier and didn't get any, but same kind of deal. Little point coming up on a little shallow flat on the old steadily nettily, dude. That's a solid little chunk right there. Nice two pound smallie. That's what I'm talking about. 
The Netterig is a smallmouth machine, actually. So that is all I have for you guys today, and I hope you guys learned something along the way. Definitely, if you take one thing away from this video, it is find the bait fish in the fall. That is where those smallmouth are going to be set up at. It doesn't really matter what bait you're throwing. If you get it down in front of them, they're probably going to eat it. They're super, super aggressive fish. The baits that I talked about in this video are just my personal preference, what I like to throw in the fall. But thank you to Mr. Tackle Box for letting me take over the channel once again, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video.